Hey guys, Brian Guyette coming to you live from the yard in Solana, Kansas. Uh, we got V1 Sports here, our online uh, swing training, uh, virtual lessons that we're going to be doing down here at the yard. Uh, here we got Joe, just going to give you a little idea about what, what we're able to do, how we're going to be able to help. Um, this is great stuff here, so uh, stay tuned. Here we go. Um, so Jolie, I always start, always start in the lower half, always start in the base. We got to work our way up to our hands. Um, so let's talk about just her initial load. Okay. So load does a pretty good job getting into that back hip uh, right here. You know, she, she definitely gets a good glute load and gets kind of stacked. Um, notice that her knee is inside of her ankle. I would like to see it a little bit more. Uh, so not necessarily rock. You don't need to not rock back as far. You don't need to not load as much. Um, but you just got to keep that knee pinched in. Um, so we want to see this knee kind of pinched in a little bit. Um, and that allows her to get back to a balance point more efficiently. Because as you'll see here, once we get to foot down, she does not get her foot back. Or her balance back, excuse me. Um, so kind of hitting off of her back hip a little bit here. Um, you'll also see that she kind of comes out of that, that glute load. Uh, so right here, she's still loaded up pretty good. But then as she starts to swing, uh, she kind of stands up a little bit, gets a little bit taller, and doesn't stay sunk into her hips. Um, so a little bit about the lower half there. Um, talk about the upper body um, and that initial turn. Pretty darn good. You can see this uh, bottom elbow here is getting linear. We're not taking this elbow down, which you will see um, a little bit in youth from here. First instinct is to want to kind of take this back elbow and go this direction with it. Um, and she really does a good job getting forward. Um, also, another thing to point out is we are not, you know, extending and getting straight with that front elbow. Um, she keeps it bent through the turn, which is what we're after. If we're going to stay inside the baseball or inside the softball, only way we're going to be able to do that is by staying bent and then to extension, right? We want to swing through the ball, not to the ball. Um, another way that uh, we're going to show you what it looks like to get to a balance point, uh, we're going to use Mike Trout, uh, one of my favorite hitters. Um, and let's just watch what Mike Trout does after he loads. Okay. So I want you to notice there, notice the difference between um, Joe and, and Trout. Um, look at where her weight is. Her weight is 100% back. He is just stacked over his hips. It's phenomenal to watch him hit a baseball. Um, you can see her hips, she's definitely back more. Um, head over belly button. If you notice here, if we draw a line down straight from her nose, straight down, look at where her line ends up. Let's look at Trout. pretty much straight down over his body. Um, so those are simple things that we can do, we can look at. Uh, we can also give you drills to fix them. Um, if this was a typical lesson, you'd be given drills at the end of this video and probably one of them would be, you know, how do we get back to that balance point? What do we have to do um, to accomplish that? Because uh, it just allows you to be a more consistent hitter. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more if you have any questions on how to you know, have a uh, coach down here at the yard do an analysis on, on your swing. Uh, give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we'd love to help. Thanks.